Welcome back to the channel. Um, I've got a story to share with you today, something that I think could be very helpful, whatever trade business you own, whether you're a sparky, plumber, chippy, I think this could be useful for all of you. Uh, I was in a, our local cafe the other day, having a coffee and a chat with a friend who runs a small building firm. And we were talking about all the stuff that goes into making our businesses work, you know, the ups, the downs, uh, just life in general, having a good old moan, really, like we enjoy. And uh, after a while, we discovered that Lots of business owners are not paying much attention to something that's really important. They're not paying anywhere near enough attention to that actual day-to-day -day running business costs. So here's the big question. Are you making this costly mistake in your business too? It's a question that when you sit down and answer can totally change the way your business works. So in this video, I want to show you how I work out my costs and how it can make your business way better. I'll break it down into some simple steps that can help you not only save money, but also make money. So grab yourself a coffee, get comfy, and uh, let's dive into this video and see if we can work out a way, save some money, make our businesses run better. Okay, so I've put this little spreadsheet together. It's something you can do yourself, or you can even do it on a bit of with a pen and a bit of paper. But the, the important thing is to get this information down. I've gone into it a little bit more detail than we need to. I've worked out the business days that you can work, how many weekends there are and how many bank holidays. And you can find this quite easily on um, by Googling it. 2023, you've got 252 business days, 105 weekends, eight bank holidays. And then next year, 254, 104 and eight. So, I mean, it doesn't vary very much um, year by year but it's all you know if you want to go into it in proper detail then you can you see the information is easy, easy enough to find i've worked out i want to work 252 days this year now this is interesting this shouldn't be hours per day this should be productive hours per day so although you work eight or nine hours a day only a certain amount of those hours are productive i've put it down to about six hours you have your, you have your lunch you have your tea break you talk to customers the productive hours we're interested in a day and not the hours you're on site so that's the important thing oh and then over here i've got i've got this this goes a little bit deeper in, in a, another video that i'll be doing about if you've got staff so at the moment it's just you on your own we'll just start off sort of quite easy in other spreadsheets or templates i've seen like this you they ask you for your monthly you know to break down the monthly cost sometimes i know it or sometimes you've got to get a calculator and work out yourself so i've put two columns here so if you if you know the monthly outgoings for it or you know the annual cost then i've just allowed it. it just makes it a little bit easier i'll fill this out fictitiously and we'll see what we come up with bear with me now i've taken the time to fill this out and to cover my overheads each day i've got to either add it on to your day rate or take it off your day rate six pounds 67 which is about 40 pound a day that it costs me to run my business means then I'll have enough money to cover these costs here. So you have enough money for your accountant, some marketing money, you have your public liability covered. When you get paid from a job, work out the amount of days that you were on that job. If you're on a job for five days, take off £40 a day and put £200 into a separate account to cover your, your overheads. And then you've got money and you're not looking for money from your own bank account. Put into a separate bank, especially nowadays, it's easy. If you've got Starling or Monzo, you can set up like buckets or places to put this separately. So it's really easy. And once you get into the habit, it's it just makes life so much easier. You're not worrying about trying to find the money. Now, this is the first part, but there's a second part to this that dives a bit deeper. And if you're interested in that, then maybe this next video could be for you. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe and share it with somebody else. 